In a previous video, we went over setting up or migrating your calendar over from Gmail into Office 365. Uh, one of the things that I didn't cover in that video was what if you've got multiple calendars? Uh, so one of the issues is if you had multiple calendars and you migrated them all into one calendar, in this video I'm going to show you how to fix that because uh, you can't you can't actually just go in and delete your main calendar, the calendar that actually says calendar. Now if you create another calendar and then uh, have, have migrated events into that calendar, you know you can right click and delete that one, but you can't delete your main calendar. So how do you go about getting rid of all these events? Like for example, you know my calendar has changed since I first logged in. Uh, what if I want to get rid of all this stuff and re-migrate? The way that I'll do that is I'm going to make use of the Outlook, Outlook desktop application. So I'm going to minimize this window and I, I've already got my Outlook open. If you don't, uh, just open it. In, in the last video I showed you how to set up your Office 365 account on the desktop version of Outlook. So I'm assuming that you've already seen that video or at least you've already got your, your uh, account set up by going to File. Um, and just adding an account and it's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. All you need to do is put in your information for Office 365 email address and password and it'll set it up. So I see that here and, and the difference that you'll notice is uh, if you've already got your old account set up on, on um, Outlook, you know, your Gmail, it'll say Google Apps and then your email address. Whereas this one just says your email address because it is an exchange email which is built to work with Outlook. Now the way that I'll delete my current calendar that I want to clear in order to prepare for a new migration, I'm just going to go down to calendar. Um, I'm going to, to look at my my calendar here, uh, calendar for B. Grady and National Risk Commission.org and I can see that yeah this is the one that I want to work with. Um, I'm going to click uh, I'm going to get rid of everything but one calendar first of all. So I unchecked the calendar from Outlook data file. And now I'm going to go to view in the tab at the top, code change view uh, list. And now I can just uh, hit the, the keyboard shortcut control A will highlight everything. So once again, that's control, hold the control button and hit A. And that will highlight all of your events. Now all I need to do is hit the delete button and bam, that's going to delete everything. Uh, and it's going to take a minute to sync that back to, back to my calendar up here. But after a couple minutes, um, especially if I hit send receive to kind of kick it into gear, uh, after, a, after a minute or two or depending on how many, how many items I have, when I go to reload this, I'll see that, that my items are going to be gone. So let's see if that worked. So it looks like it's in the process. I think I see a couple. I'm going to pause this video and we'll come back when they're all gone. Okay, now I see I reloaded a couple times and all those events that were on there are gone. But the one thing I will caution you about doing this, make very certain that you are doing that to the right calendar. You don't want to accidentally clear off your Gmail calendar, uh, but you, like I said, there should be that distinguishing factor um, that you that would tell you which which calendar it is that you're working from. Um, so I was able to tell uh, based on the fact that it, it it didn't say Google Apps that it wasn't my Gmail calendar because I also don't even have my Gmail uh, calendar in the desktop version of Apple, uh, Outlook. but So that's how you clear your calendar. Uh, this would work if you wanted to, if you had already migrated and then you had kept using Google, um, you had kept using Google Calendar for a little while and now you wanted to, to not have to fill in all the blanks. You just wanted to start with a clean migration of a single calendar. Or if you accidentally migrated multiple calendars into your one calendar uh, online, then this would allow you to clean that slate and be able to prepare for multiple calendars. And that's what we're actually going to cover in this next video. How do I do multiple calendars?